Hey guys, um, I'm really annoyed right now. I just tried to record a video opening mail from my family and I talked a lot about my family and where we're from and that and I messed up on it and accidentally it didn't record right. <laughs> Which is really frustrating because it was a really hard video to do. But that's okay. We'll do a happier video than the last one anyway because the last one I talked about uh, a couple people in my family passing away that was a little bit of a downer, more than a little bit of a downer. So I'm gonna do half right now. I've got this half and I've got a second half to do in another video. So um, yeah, I put on my PJ bottoms underneath my skirt because it's cold. <laughs> but I, of course, since I have a huge stack of mail, um, managed to lose my awesome new um, letter opener. That's me, though. I'll find it. It's around here somewhere. Um, if you guys will see in some of my new my new video series um, why it's so easy for me to lose stuff. But uh, hopefully that will change over the next few months. So let's get started here. This one is from England, Castleford in England. Um, and it's a really cool one. I'm really excited because I, I haven't gotten much mail from England, surprisingly enough. Um, and so it's going to take me an extra second to open these now because I have to do it the annoying way. Oh, look at this card. Oh, this is, this is the final card. That is really cool. That card is gorgeous. Let me see if I can get this close enough here. There we go. It says Season's Greetings and it's got this beautiful picture on it. And you can't really see it in the camera, but it's all glittery. And it says, by purchasing this card, you are helping us raise up to 100,000 pounds for Save the Children, Morrison's Charity of the Year. Morrison's is aiming to raise $2 million for Save the Children in 2012. This money will help to give most disadvantaged children in the UK a better chance at life. That is really cool, actually. Um, it looks like Morrison's is a store. And they say, with warmest wishes for a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um... That's awesome. That's very, very awesome. And now I have glitter all over my bed. Worth it. So this one is from Martinez, Georgia. It's a pretty cute card. It's got this little Snoopy sticker on the bottom here. And the stamps are, are pretty neat. Um, and then on the back, we've just got the little stocking sticker. Sorry about the light. I've got this set up a little weird. Um, I'm going to try to move that a bit. Maybe that'll help. Um... I had it this all set up for another video I was recording, so the light had to be a little different than I do for my um, normal mail videos. So this is the card. It says Deck the Halls. Um, it says May your holidays be merry and bright. Christmas greetings from Augusta, Georgia. Ooh, this one's covered in stickers. This is from Troy, New York. It's got a ton of stickers all over it. Um, and then one on the back here. This is Merry Christmas. And this envelope is pretty cool too, actually. Um, again, sorry if I'm looking down here to the right. This is the screen that I'm using. Um, there's not actually a screen attached to my camera. It connects to my phone via an app and Wi-Fi. It's kind of cool, actually. It seems to set up the phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, um, which is cool because it means that I can do this even where I don't have Wi-Fi, but um, not cool because it means that I can't be connected to real Wi-Fi on my phone, but that's okay. Um, so this card's cute. It's this like winter house scene and it says winter wishes and it says, may you find peace in the quiet beauty of the season. Hey, houses like this make me feel so nostalgic of Christmas in the 90s. My parents' house is like this. Have a great holiday. Yeah, see, this kind of does remind me of, of when I was growing up in the Midwest. Um, we had a lot more snow than we do here in Portland. <laughs> That's not hard, but... Uh, and so we it wouldn't be entirely unusual for us to have snow during this time of year. And everything would look like that. Winter is my favorite season. So 
Um, this one did not have far to go. <laughs> this is from Gresham, Oregon, which is like literally across the street from me. Um, and it's got a cute little sticker on the back. Uh, a lot of these are things that I got literally, like I got most of these the day after Christmas. <laughs> oh, blame me. They sent me extras. So it says happy holidays. It's really pretty. It's thick too. And then it says, hi Lee, wishing you and your loved ones a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful new year. Filled with love, laughter, joy, blessings, and lots of happy swapping. And there's stickers all over the inside. They did a really cool job of this. Um, like it's in different colors and it looks really cool. And they sent me these little tiny Christmas stickers. And then some post-it notes, Christmassy post-it notes. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And then um, a Christmas themed note card. That's cool. I didn't have to send you extra goodies in that one. Um, so this is from Bayonne, New Jersey. Um, there's no real decoration on the envelope. And I really, I got it like buckle down after I finished filming this and find my freaking letter opener. I looked for like a half an hour too, but <sighs> it is what it is, right? <laughs> this card barely fits in this envelope. Pro tip guys, your envelope and your card should not be exactly the same size. Your envelope should be slightly smaller than your, or slightly bigger than your card. So here's an example of a good one. So see how there's this little gap on either side? It's just a couple millimeters. So let me line it up here. So this is how much of a gap they have in total between the size of the card and the size of the envelope. It's easy to get that one out. Let me line this up here. That is the size of the gap that they had between their card and their envelope. I'm guessing that these came as a set, so it's not their fault. But if you have the option of envelopes, don't get one that fits this tight because it's really hard to get out and you end up damaging the card. You can kind of see the damage there on the corner while you're trying to get it out. And it's really frustrating. Um, and especially if it's a, a fancy or special card, you want to be really careful about that. So this says Season's Greetings. It's got Santa on it. Like an old timey style Santa. This says Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Best wishes. So like I said, that's not a dig at them at all. Um, it's really easy to make that mistake. And a lot of card companies when you buy your cards and sets will do that. Um, if you do get something like that and it is a more expensive card, it's really easy to make your own uh, envelope. And maybe at some point I'll do a tutorial on how to make your own envelope. Um, I really like the style that I have figured out how to make. It works pretty well and it's very simple. So, so this one comes from Ohio. Stokongsville, I think it says. If you guys can see that, that's where it's from. <laughs> There's no decoration, which is fine. Oh, hey, I got these cards too. I love these cards. They're super pretty. So it says peace on earth. And it says, and goodwill towards men. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And they sent me some goodies. Some little bits of ephemera, like paper ephemera. Um, I like this one a lot, actually. It's got, you can't really see it, but it's got these like like beads in it. It's really pretty. Let me tuck this away up here. Kind of setting everything to the side there. So this one is from I don't know where. There's no return address and you can't read the stamp. So it's just got this cute little like 3D effect snowman. Let 
I'm gonna have to get moving here. I'm at 10 minutes already. I'm trying to keep these a little shorter so I don't end up with like another half an hour long video. Um, Cause I had a couple people comment that that was too long. Um, so this is pretty simple. It says happy holidays. And it says warmest thoughts and best wishes for a wonderful holiday and a very happy new year. Hope you have the greatest holiday. Have a Merry Christmas. I had a pretty darn good holiday actually despite pulling a muscle in my ribs and they sent me a couple of these cute little book page mini envelopes which I have to figure out how they make because these are adorable and I love them and I have a bunch of old book pages that I've been trying to figure out good uses for and I think that's a fantastic use so this one's from Dayton Ohio they've got my favorite Wonder Woman stamps and it says season's greetings on the back on the little sticker with a little puppy. You can always make me happy by sending me things with cute animals on them. Even if I have to rip them to get the envelope open, which I wouldn't have to do if I knew where I'd put my letter opener. <sighs> this person is officially my favorite swapper ever. It's an Edward Gorey one. This makes my little goth heart happy. Oh, this card is awesome. It just says season's greetings. But I love Edward Gorey. I love, I'm goth and I just, it makes me happy. So this is from Beasley, Texas. And they've got this cute, like, poinsettia washi tape on it. And their little mailing thing is pretty cute too, actually. And it just has a seal on the back that says ho 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 along with their return address. And, oh, come on. Okay, we're just going to destroy their return address, apparently. No big deal. Um, see, this is why you be careful when you open them. Sometimes they have goodies in them. So it's this cute card that's just like this winter scene. It looks like some people going to church. Um, it's snowing and it says Christmas blessings. May the spirit of the season be with you and happiness be yours. A very Merry Christmas to you and your family. And then there's this little gingerbread man sticker. And let's tuck that in the card. And this little snowflake hanging thing. Those are cute, cute, cute. So this one is from Rockaway, New York, and it's got, let's see here. Here we go. It says, peace on earth, goodwill toward all. I like that alteration of that phrase. I've always been mildly uncomfortable with the goodwill towards men thing. Um, oh, and the card is this kind of the same way. Oh, blimey. Goodies. So it has that same symbol in the peace on earth, goodwill towards all. This is God bless us everyone. I hope your holiday season is full of all good things. So I'll probably talk about this in the future too, but I'm, I'm not religious at all. Um, I'm an atheist. So we've got these little seals and uh, um, this little scrap of Christmas ribbon. At the same, like, and so things like the, you know, may God bless us all, I'm like, eh. But I mean, it's not, I'm not upset. I understand the sentiment and I appreciate the sentiment. Um, still just kind of makes me go meh. So this is from Skagaway, Alaska. And this is solid. This does not bend. I don't know what's in it. Um, I have a hunch, but I really have no idea what the actual thing is. Um... So this is highly, I hope you like your custom piece. I am so very inspired by music and lyrics. So I thought you might be too. Remember a postcard you sent me a few months back with some of your faves. Oh, they remembered me. This is really cool. It says, I believe that if you thought for a moment, took your time, you would not resign yourself to your fate. From I believe by tears for fears. 
So how freaking cool is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm floored. Like this isn't even for a swap. That is so sweet. I'll have to figure out something cool to send them back. Oh, that is really sweet. Um, that's a really good place to end this on actually. So that's all I have for this particular video. Um, I've got an entire another stack of mail I'm going to be doing. So there are more Christmas cards coming. Um, I expect a bunch of New Year's cards too here coming up. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful New Year and had a wonderful Christmas and stay safe everybody. If you liked this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye everybody!